everybody! Today I uh, was a little inspired by my previous video. I love to be creative and this time I wanted to do something with this one. <laughs> I'm going to pimp up my violin today. My very first violin that is no longer in use and just hangs on my wall as decoration simply because it's a cheap Chinese violin and it doesn't sound any good. So I figured why not pimp it up and maybe use it for a future music video or something. I got copper and I got gold. <laughs> so before I do anything I have to actually remove the strings, I have to remove the bridge because they are not going to be painted. Uh, please don't do this on a current violin that you have. It is going to destroy the sound of the violin. I'm going to test the copper spray on both the smooth surface and also the matte, as you see here. Uh, just to get an idea how it's going to look before I do anything stupid. <laughs> it's a little windy. No, no, no. All right. Oh, that is a cool color. It doesn't look like wood anymore. <laughs> Making it matte doesn't really make it better, guys. So I actually don't need to do this on the entire violin. Guys, why didn't I do this before? I created a masterpiece. Look at it, look at it, look at it. The copper is a lot more pink and a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. So I don't know if the gold is going to ruin it, the color, because the color looks amazing right now. I want to try the gold. I need to let it dry first, and then I want to turn it around and do the copper on the other side as well. Wait. Guys, it's raining. Don't, don't, don't. don't rain, don't rain, please. Don't rain. Fuck, 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 fuck. What do I do? What do I do? Umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Oh, oh my god. Well, this didn't go as planned. And I can't move it because then I'm gonna get a lot of stuff on my hands. I'm not wearing gloves because I forgot them. If I move from this part, I'm afraid it's gonna ruin the entire thing. Maybe if I do like this. Since I started, I'm just gonna continue, guys. Look at them! This is the bow and the violin. And look at the scroll! Oh, I'm so excited! Bow hair is still protected. To do this. Ah. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe this will help. No! It's raining and it's sunny! So now it's a copper to gold and a gold to copper there. And, whoops, uh, and there's uh, gold to copper on the bow. Little update, the front looks awesome, uh, but when I turn it around it looks horrible because it, the backside wasn't dry yet. Why you should wait until it's dry? It's a few hours later and I decided to spray paint uh, the chin rest. So you guys, um, I just spray paint my violin like with a lot of layers of paint. I'm a perfectionist and uh, um, there was suddenly a lot of paint on it and when I was going to leave it inside to dry, I didn't carry it inside like this, but like this and all the paint was just <laughs> dripping downwards and ruined the finish that I worked so much on. So I decided to just wipe off the paint and start again. I just wiped it in a direction so that the marks underneath would be like, look like wood or something, like just creating some lines. First I looked at it and was like, I've ruined this violin project, how am I supposed to make this good? And then I looked at it and was like, its own style, like a rustic style. So I decided to just work with it and spray some paint over again. I'm constantly making adjustments. Now I just created some lines just by taking some paper and just 
creating sharp lines downwards and it's a little too sharp and noticeable lines so I'm going to spray a little bit of the copper I just applied this finishing spray on the scroll to see how it turns out and it turned out really shiny oh look at that guys I'm finished with my violin look at it look at it it's fairy inspired violin um, of course a little different than what I imagined with the uh, pattern on the neck but I think that's makes it more interesting so I actually really satisfied I couldn't make like the back smooth whenever I was putting it down even after it's been drying for a long time um, this is just from like a plastic bag <laughs> and I think it's because I needed to let it dry a lot longer than I thought but I decided to go with the rustic feel anyway so I don't mind the scratches on the back and it also has a bow with gold leaves on. I did buy this uh, leaf thing on eBay. The fact that it was a steel wire, I didn't know until I got it in the mail. And that worked out perfectly for this violin because it sits. Yee. Also add some little details on the pegs. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.